pretty sure I just overheard Travis telling Adam that he thinks you're really cute and wants to ask you to be his girlfriend. Seriously? Wait, explain to me what you heard, but please, not at a decimal, only dogs can hear. Travis was talking to Adam. Freeman? No, Lucas. Really? I didn't know they were friends. Not the point, Janet. Right, continue. Travis told Adam Lucas that he thinks you're super cute and that he likes you and wants to ask you to be his girlfriend. See, I told you. Told me what? That when one door closes, another opens. First door being the loser ex-boyfriend who cheated on you all the time. Thanks for bringing that up at this moment. Sorry. Let's just focus on your new boyfriend. <sighs> wow. I'm sure you heard Travis say my name? Uh... I don't know. Kylie, this is just like the time you swore you saw Bigfoot, but it was just your neighbor Gary. You cannot deny the striking resemblance. Bigfoot doesn't exist. Rude! I don't shatter your dreams of becoming a social security rights activist. <clears throat> Hi, Travis. Hi. Um, how are you? Good. How are you? Good. So, um... Yeah? I was wondering if you would like to be my girlfriend. Yeah, yes, of course. I mean, not of course, but yes, I do. I mean, no, gross. Wait, 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 what? I didn't mean to say I do, like what people say when they get married, because that's weird, but uh, not for them. But I, yes, I would love to be your girlfriend. Very much so. Cool. Um, okay, that was weird. What? You just totally checked them out. No, no, hey, I, I like you. No one else. Yeah, okay. <laughs> See you later. Hello, Miss Travis Wilde. Why would you say that? I knew it. He's telling everyone I freaked out and said I do. He's mean. Um, are you okay? I just said that because you two are an item now. He didn't say anything about you freaking out, but spill the tea. It's not a big deal. But, I don't know. Something's up. Look at him all over those girls. If you think that's all over, then you and I need to have a serious talk. I think he's cheating on me. With... Air? Don't minimize my feelings. Janet, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to hurt your feelings, I just think you're overreacting. Look, he's coming over. Hey, beautiful. How was your morning classes? Fine. What were you talking to those girls about just now? Oh, uh, they're in my world history class and we got assigned group projects, so we were splitting up the assignments. And? And I got assigned Russia. So, um, I know it's a mess, but I want to focus more on the people and the culture and less of the dictators. Nothing else you'd like to share? Nope. Hey, um, what are you doing after school? Uh, maybe we can go to the mall. Sure. Sweet. I'm gonna see what Alan's up to. See you later. See? I know. It's worse than I thought. He made up that whole lie about being assigned Russia. Oh no, Janet. Don't do this to yourself. Just because he who shall not be named was a raging jerk doesn't mean every guy is. Kylie, I know the signs, okay? And maybe don't give advice about relationships until you've actually had one. <laughs> so, what's like your favorite mall? Probably Century City. It's really nice and super chill. Cool. Cool. Janet. Hey. Travis? 
Is that you? Um, hey. What are you doing here? You know, just checking out some books. You know how I love the books. Calling to one fun in your life partner. Uh, uh, this is for Kylie's mom. Her and Kylie's dad split, so she's been kind of lonely. So, you know, trying to be a good friend. So, how's it going in here? You guys getting some studying done? Um, yeah, a little. Okay then, Travis. I'll let you get back to studying. Hey, um, you don't seem yourself. I have a Kit Kat bar if you want to eat it. Are you saying I look too skinny? I should eat? No, 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 no. On the contrary, it's just- Wow, you think I'm fat? No, no, I, I, I can't think. I, I don't think. Just pretend I didn't say anything. I'll see you later. Yes. You want the Kit Kat? Sure. It's a day old and a little melted, but it's still good. <laughs> He's totally trying to play me. Really? How can you be sure? I heard him ask Linda what her favorite mall was and that he wanted to take her there on a date and maybe more. No way, really? Basically, yeah. What do you mean, basically? I know what I heard, Kylie. Sure, because I know nothing about relationships. I just don't want to see you sabotage this relationship just because Jake cheated on you. Stop, don't bring him up ever again. Jen, you don't know what you're talking about. That's not fair. Okay, relationship guru. Tell me, what do I do when I overhear my boyfriend ask another girl on a date, huh? You... you talk to him? Wrong. Because liars never tell you the truth. Then confront him and tell him that you know. And look crazy? No, thank you. Too late for that. What was that? Don't want to do that. Exactly. I have a reputation to uphold. I have a better plan. Yeah, I think Saturday would work. Just let me ask my dad. Sometimes he takes us fishing while my mom has her me time and watches Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Sounds good. So, Janet Baker? Yeah. She's really pretty. I know. And I. I really hope things work out. I mean, ever since she became my girlfriend, uh, the switch flipped and she became more defensive. Maybe she's just nervous because you're really sweet and I know she likes you a lot. Okay, I'll see you Saturday. Okay, bye. <sighs> Unbelievable. Get it! I. You came out of nowhere. My mom got me tickets for the new Sonic movie. Let's go on Saturday. Um, Unless you have plans? Yeah, no, I I have plans. Doing what? My dad wants to take me hiking. Oh, really? Yeah. You know, maybe we can see the movies on Sunday. Sure. Let's go on Sunday. Also, I'd really like it if you didn't speak to Linda anymore. But... We're in the same group. We have world history. History! I know. But you can do your part of the project without speaking to her. It would make me feel better. Well, I don't... I don't know. It's just like... This is important to me. And you like me, don't you? Of course, you're my girlfriend. Then do this for me. Please. Okay. Saturday to finish our project. Sure, sure. What's up with you? I, 
I lied to Jan about what I was doing on Saturday. Why? We're just doing schoolwork. I know, but she's been so tense lately that I thought if I told her I was staying with you guys and the group on Saturday, she would freak out. That's kind of a bad plan, Travis. I know, I know, I know, but considering I lied, she told me not to speak to you. Still? After all the paranoia and jealousy? You shouldn't have to walk on eggshells around anyone, let alone your girlfriend. Yeah, I know she'll cool off. It'll be fine. Are you really not going to talk to me? No, but we should be more discreet around school for Janet. Discreet? About what? We're just friends. Exactly. You don't seem okay, Travis. Watch out. This is what happens when you date controlling people. But what happens? Well, you start to feel like you're the one doing something wrong. All the time. Even when you're not. I guess I'll walk to class alone then. See you in there. Travis, you're wanted in the counselor's office. Travis! I think you should ask Mr. Gibbons to switch groups. What? I don't think that's a good idea. We're like 90% done with our project. That wouldn't make sense. Okay, then you should ask Linda to switch groups. Let's not discuss it right now. I gotta go to the council's office. Uh, no, you don't. Yes, I do. I made that up. It's fake. So you made a fake pass to get me out of class because... So we can discuss you being in a different group than the one with Linda. Then we can go to the movies on Saturday. What? No, I I'm, going I'm going fishing with my dad Saturday. You told me you were going hiking with your dad. Hiking, right. You know, what would me switching groups have anything to do with Saturday? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Let me get back to class. Hey, I got your text. I have like eight minutes till Mrs. Glenn comes looking for me. She says no number or situation takes longer than ten minutes in the bathroom. This is absurd. I know! She should be my mom's new boyfriend. No, Travis and Linda are absurd. He thinks he could lie to me and see her behind my back. I just caught them, no way, talking. <gasps> oh, that's not bad. I told him I wasn't comfortable with them talking. But they have the same class and they're friends. Well, if he liked me and respected me enough, he would. And now he just keeps lying. Then break up with him. Why would I do that? Because you obviously don't trust him. Well, if I break up with him, then I wouldn't be his girlfriend. And I want to be his girlfriend. Okay, I think I'm rounding my last minute here. I'll catch you at lunch. You should eat something before, though. You seem like your blood sugar is off. What's this? I don't know. It looks vintage. It's a tracker. It's your tracker. You know, I'm breaking up with you. You clearly have trust issues and I've let this go on for far too long. You're just mad because I caught you lying. I shouldn't have been put in that position in the first place, Janet. I liked you. I was honest with you. I'm not like your ex, Jake. Do not bring him into this. You need to move on. 
Obviously, you weren't ready for a new relationship. You were gonna go to the mall with Linda on Saturday. No! I was gonna study with her and the group, but I felt like I couldn't tell you that because you were acting like a crazy person. And this was the last straw. Listen, you did exactly what I tried to tell you not to do. You sabotaged your relationship based off of something that happened to you in the past. So, Travis wasn't cheating? No. Man, I'm such an idiot. Why did I do that? It's okay, you just need time to learn how to trust again. You're right. I should go talk to Travis. No. You should let that cool off. You can apologize later. For now, you just need to focus on you. You're right. Thanks for being nice to me. I said some pretty awful things to you. I forgive you, but I'm gonna recommend you to my mom's therapist. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's hard, but don't let your past weigh you down. Don't let how someone treated you bruise your relationships with other people. If you need to, talk to someone about it. If you ever feel like you're walking on eggshells around someone, that means that there is some type of abuse and you should contact an adult or a teacher to talk about it. See, See you next time. time.